Austin's homicide rate is outpacing recent years, and there's frustration within the Austin homicide unit. The head of that unit tells our Sally Hernandez part of the problem is a trend of repeat violent offenders being released from jail. Austin's homicide rate is the highest it's been in a decade. Lieutenant Greenwald doesn't know why, but he's looking for clues. Right now, there's an effort to try to keep people out of jail as much as possible. He wants to know if suspects are being released on bond in an effort to stop the spread of COVID at jails. So we're seeing lower bonds. We're seeing a lot of PR bonds, which means somebody gets out of jail without putting up any money at all. So what we're seeing is violent criminals. And I'm not talking about, you know, drugs. I'm not talking about misdemeanors. I'm talking about people who are committing felonies over and over who are getting out of jail um, and committing more felonies. In a statement to KXAN, the district attorney's office said, with the pandemic, we must also look at our available resources and what makes sense in terms of judicial economy. But we would not recommend to the court that a violent or dangerous offender be released into the community simply because there may be a risk of COVID exposure in the jail, which has Lieutenant Greenwald still looking for answers on why repeat offenders are being released from jail. And we're seeing a lot of the same names over and over. We're seeing people kill people with ankle monitors on their ankle. Uh, we're seeing people who um, we know who they are because we've already put them in jail here at the Austin Police Department headquarters. The second floor consists of robbery, aggravated assault, and the homicide unit. And it's not uncommon for us to all huddle up around the table and just talk about what happened over the weekend and how uh, one group of people or one habitual violator is affecting all three units because of the shootings or the robberies that are happening. So we're, we're trying to just kind of keep an eye on that. With COVID right now, there's not a lot that can be done um, in terms of the safety of the, of the inmates at jail. But when, um, when you know, we get back to a, a so-called normal in society, I think that the, the repeat violent offenders getting out of jail is something that we have to look at. We looked into it as well and found several murders with the suspect wearing an ankle monitor while out of jail for a previous crime. In June, police say Marquise Davis was one of several suspects who robbed and killed a neighborhood ice cream vendor in Austin. Police say that Davis was wearing an ankle monitor at the time of the murder after previously being released from jail for a road rage shooting back in 2019. And this man, Christopher Henry, is accused of killing 68-year-old Rose Davis this year. Just last year, he too was released from jail with an ankle monitor charged with robbery at gunpoint.